Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. And those of you who have been watching and paying attention lately are familiar with Sam Messman. He's a filmmaker. He, uh, he's a proprietor of WeMakeMovies.org and he runs around the country for FCPWorks.com, helping people understand Final Cut Pro workflow. And while Final Cut is the most awesome NLE on the planet. Is that a good intro? <laughs> Thank you, Steve. I appreciate that. I mean, you guys probably do a little bit more when it comes to that than I do, but uh, uh, thank you for having me on again. Awesome. No, we, we love having Sam because he's actually in the trenches helping people understand the workflow. And the workflow we're talking about specifically today is media management and hard links. And when moving media on the same volume and why, why when you move something, it doesn't take up the double the space. It's a, it's, it's a little mind blowing, but you're going to show us why hard links are so awesome with regard to moving media. I'll so. show you why they're so awesome. To be honest, you don't really understand why they work. I don't fully understand it either, but I just they, know that it does work. And there's a lot of things, a lot of doors it opens up for you in terms of media management, especially in, in group workflow. So let's, let's see it. So this, this is, um, so basically in a typical, you know, environment, anytime you make a copy or you move media, it's going to take up additional disk space, right? Sure. So this is um, actual footage from a feature film that we have in the finder here. So we have video, audio, um, and there is uh, 105 gigabytes in this folder. We've got about 112 gigabytes left on this drive here. So theoretically, if I was to move this media again to another part of the directory, you would have six, gig, six gigs left. I'd have six gigs if I was to copy this elsewhere sure. and have it accessible in another location than over here. So anyway, if we go into the Final Cut library, uh, the first thing we should take a look at is under preferences, just to do the quick test, which is if you want to do a test on this, you should have uh, leave files in place to start with, because uh, we'll, I'll show you in a minute why that, why that would matter. And we're going to go ahead and import. So you created a library and set it for well, so the import option. Leave the files import, in place. yeah. So leave files in place. So we're going to go to modify settings in here. We're going to go ahead and change the settings of this library right now to go, and we're just going to make a new folder. We're going to call this one test, and we're going to point all of the media that I import into that test folder. Into that test folder, even though we're going to see sim links probably in the library shortly, but we'll get to that in a second. Okay. So, um, but when I consolidate later, it's going to take all of the media and bring it into this folder directly copy it in. But we're not going to do that. You can have it happen immediately. We're going to wait a second before we do that. So anyway, now that we've set up our media settings, I'm just going to take this folder with some 4K red footage and audio, and we're just going to drag it right into the event here. And it'll import in a second. And we should have There's a couple of files I didn't know. Probably some red Usually, metadata file or whatever. Yeah, it's some metadata over. file. Just basically when it does that, it, it's probably, unless you haven't installed the plugin, install the plugin if you've got red, but once that happens. It imported it almost instantaneously. Yeah. And entire, I see no, see no copy thing going on in the dashboard. It just happened. It just, it just, it's immediate. You know, you don't even, you take it for granted after a while. I think it used to impress me. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically what we've got here is if we now go into... The finder, um, and we go to this drive. Uh, where? What happened? Oh, here we go. We've made this folder called test. There's still nothing in There's here. Nothing yet. in there yet. But if we go and control click to show package contents, it's going to give us the name of our event here. And under original media, so are those all sim links? We're going to see little sim links and pointers here. So if I open this up, you'll notice there's little pointers next to these. These are so, alias or sim Right. So those aren't the actual red raw files. Those are pointers to so those that are, folder that has 105 right. gigs in it. So those are pointing exactly to this folder, which is living right here in media with these two folders. There's 105 gigs worth of media. Mm -hmm. But if you were to go to that alias, it's going to point you back there. Yeah. So anyway. In a typical media management scenario, when you go and consolidate media or have files that you can access and play and live in a given place, uh, there's a copy involved. You're going to have to do that. If you want it to live in this, you can move it, but you can't have it in both places. Right. Or so we thought. So basically, if I push this consolidate button. So just, just to be clear, what you're doing is you're consolidating that library. You created a folder called test. 
and you're going to consolidate all that red media into it. Yeah, so now it, we, we think it's going to be consolidated actually. We think it. it's going right. to be consolidated. So notice I push the consolidate button. We're right. at 100% there, right? What? You're all done? It's, it's done. Well, I thought it was going to have to copy 105 gigs. You would think so. And so it must not have worked, right? So if we go in here, something happened here. So we have all of these folders in the, in the Final Cut directory structure. Right. And if you notice, there's no arrows next to the, to the links. And if you notice also, there's 105 gigs here. We've still got 112 gigs here. But we also, if we go here, have 112 gigs or well, have 105 gigs there. So my mind is being blown a little bit here. So, so we, it, didn't, there, it didn't add another 105 gigs to your drive. So our media is living in two different locations. And in one scenario, it's in the, the shooting structure that we, that we had right. that, would, that the DIT would have in place. And in here, if you go into the test folder in the original media side, it's placed into the Final Cut directory structure, which is, you know, in its own date-based system right. and all this. So what that sort of means is that if you're in a SAN environment, you can have preserve everything how it came in from set in its own one location. Then you build another library and port everything in there. On and the you same can, volume. Mm -hmm, and you can have multiple editors have their consolidation folders go to a completely separate area. So all of your other media is coming in separate from your original media directory. So you're building a library that you can then archive extremely easy with one file connection if everyone's consolidating to the same place. Wow, so that opens up a whole, I mean, it kind of blows my mind a little bit because now I have all these editors consolidating, not really doubling or tripling or quadrupling their drive space, somehow under, Below the operating system level, even below the Final Cut level, Final Cut is, knows where that media is, and it's only in really one place, in yeah. a sense. I mean, so I guess it's looking at the, it, I picture it as if there's like two windows in a house, right? right? And you're outside, and you can see the media from one window in the finder, and another window in the finder, and it's just pointing the same place. I mean, the, the I guess, file system's like a wrapper, and the right. media is the media. Right. So I guess now we're living in an age where it's smart enough to have windows as opposed to just having the same thing, same room twice. Right. So then let me ask you one more question. I'm sure this is crossing people's minds. So if you go back to that original folder with the red media in it, mm -hmm. uh, the first folder you showed us, and you deleted that folder. Want to try it? Okay. We'll see what you're happens. Gonna, you're going to delete? It's going to be You're going to delete a feature today. film? So theoretically, um, if I was to delete the now, the only problem is that I may need this media later. So how, how, what do we want to do here? Do we want to, do we want to take the risk? Let's go ahead and let's take the risk. We can, we can have <laughs> a completely uh, disastrous next Mac break studio. So let's go and just delete this from the drive. Of course. Uh... Oh, hold on. We probably should close Final Cut real quick. And... Stop and let's go and delete this. You just deleted 105 gigabytes with a red media from a feature film that you never can get back. Pretty much. Okay. So I just want to set the right framework and tone for what we're about to see. When so now let's see what happens if we open this back up. Because if we go in here. But what we should see is that everything online, if the hard links actually work, it's pointing to all the media that's in that test folder. That so you I've emptied the trash. I'm able to play back just fine. <laughs> it's also somehow there. one window is just to that one window into that media was removed, and now we have only one. Well, we only so have one window. So we just got now. rid of a window, but the media is still there. All right, that's nice. All right, it's a little bit like like Voodoo, but it's it works, and this is pretty amazing when managing all this media on one volume. If it's bottom line is it saves a lot of space. It saves a ton of space. Well, that's fantastic. Well, hopefully you were able to track with Sam's thinking on this, but it. It works. It works great. And uh, thank you for that awesome workflow tip. Thanks for having us, Steve. You're right. So check out Sam's site, uh, wemakemovies.org. Every Wednesday they meet and they just do movie making stuff. It's pretty awesome. Go check out his site. And we thank you for, for and coming. FCP works stuff. And no. FCP works stuff, Con. And uh, you know, if you're on a set, maybe you'll see Sam there showing you the works, how FCP works. Thanks for watching another MacBreak Studio.